What's going on, everybody? I hope y'all are well, and a special shout out to my Jared Tones. I hope y'all are well, too. So listen, I am Jaren. I am a voice teacher, speech trainer, and the founder and owner of this marvelous studio, the Jaren M. LeGuerre Studio. Y'all, we gonna go to church again with another Easter classic that we got to do, you know? And I love this one because number one, it's sung by my home folk, my family, for starters. And number two, we got to such a good song, a good churchy song to sing. Y'all know I love some churchy music. And I don't know if anybody asked for this video, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> So we are gonna do it today. So as I always say, I'm gonna start and stop a lot while this video is going. So if you like starting and stopping and talking about things as they happen in the moment, then go on to another video or click the link below. In the description box, you can see the entire video without me talking at all. But if you might stopping and talking about things as they happen in the moment, then stick around because you found the right channel. So listen, let's get right into this amazing song by my people. Here's a voice analysis of Ricky Dillard and the New Generation Chorale singing Because of the Blood. That silver or gold He paid a debt that he did not owe So this is my girl Miss Renee I love from my new G sister Miss Renee So Renee right here she's playing with a lot of vowel shapes He paid a debt that he did not owe So she's going from like twangy to more darker What came from his hands, feet and his side Instead of side, his side was more precious and she really had that S at the end. Then silver or gold. So she's really throwing these words out, you know? Then silver or gold. But she's really still being articulated in how she's doing it, though it's kind of a more dramatic or maybe a more intentional articulation. It's still articulate. The blood that set me free, it came from a life of sin and tragedy. So she really kind of migrated to that vowel because of the blood on that rundown. She really kind of did something right there and drove the vowel more darker and more rounded on the blood instead of the blood. The blood. Yeah, probably dropped the lights down a little bit too. He paid the death that he did not owe. That silver of gold. I love that S on precious. Was my precious. She really sits on these consonants. That silver or gold. She really drags the consonants on. I love it. The blood that set me free. It came from a life of sin and tragedy. Most of all, really punching it. I am born again. Free. There's a swell. Free. And then the free kind of migrates through that vowel or that R, that cluster right there. Free. Free from sin. Right? Free from sin. And that sin is quick. Then because of the blood. So that blood has its own syllable here. Though we say blood in, you know, English, we say blood. Here they're saying the blood. It has its own rhythmic syllable right there. Because of the blood. One day, I plunge beneath you hear that other swell? Beneath that blood. It was kind of a darker, more puckered. Beneath, not beneath. Beneath. It had a little bit more juice to it in terms of darkness right there. Oh, from me, man.
had a little squall right there. So she's building up. Ay, ay, yay! Kind of bringing some more written to the sound right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's talk about each section, how they sing this a little bit. So the Sopranos, they have that because, they have a little bit of that twang. Because of the blood. And they kind of do that slide. They all do that slide, honestly. But you hear that slide of that throw off of the blood, right? But one thing that a lot of people don't do that I noticed when we sang the song, it wasn't because of the blood because it's a little bit more of a jaw drop on because it isn't because okay because you see how instead of because you see the difference so instead of because that little jaw drop makes a little difference in the sound but if you look at them you can see the sopranos are doing because it's a little bit more of an elongation of the vowel in because of the blood not because of the blood here, okay? And then the last one, because it's more spread of the blood. And then they have that vibrato towards the end, right? So they have the because of the blood. But the other ones are because of the blood. But the other ones have that because of the blood. First one, because of the blood. Second one, because of the blood. Third one, then because spread on that last one and more kind of normal English, if you will, on that last because of the blood. And they had that twang, that nasality, that narrowing the whole time, okay? It was amazing grace. which is my section. When I was in New G, this is what I sang, okay? So the altos, there's a little bit more of a darkness. Because of the blood! And there's a little bit more of like a thickening or the cricoid tilting in, I'm gonna say in our sound, but look, in our sound, no. In their sound, there's a little bit more of a darkening and a thickening of the belt, if you will, or the chest voice thick folds. Sopranos have more of a spread, brighter approach. Altos, we weren't, <laughs> they, they aren't as bright. They have a little more of a warmer sound. Because of the blood, because of the blood. And then the last one, because of the blood. They get a little more spread too, but they still have, I just spit everywhere, <laughs> my bad. It's me in the room, so it don't matter. <laughs> but they have a little bit more of that brightness on the last because of the blood, but there's still a little more warmth, a little more depth to their sound. I don't mean depth meaning like sopranos don't have any depth either. It's just a different sound than the sopranos, you know? And that's kind of some of the magic sauce that makes new G, new G. There is a fountain. vibrato on that part. So the tenors had that same darkness, but because the pitches are lower, it sounds a little bit more warm, a little bit more darker, but I think some of that is because the pitches are lower than the Sopranos and Altos, obviously, because of the three different parts, right? But the tenors had that same energy that the Sopranos and Altos had, just respectfully to their own part right there, right? And let me be clear about something. Singing a song like this, whether you're choir or the lead, but the choir part takes a lot of stamina to do. It's a lot of torso engagement. Not only are we moving the but everything is punched, so it's because of the blood. You cannot be scared. You gotta go for this song. So you gotta dig in with the body. And really, this reason wants us to really support the freedom and the intensity that singing like this does. This kind of barking or whatever you want to call it, squalling. This takes a lot of body work to do. So don't let nobody tell you that this is not real singing or this thing. Uh-uh. Tell them to sing like this and do it efficiently. This 
this is not easy to do, okay? This is not easy to do, this type of singing, this specific style of singing is not easy to do. But of course, New G is one of the top choirs that do it so well, you know, because that's what's up. Because that's who we are, that's who they are. You know what I'm saying? So remember that when you're singing a song, you gotta punch it. You really gotta use those breathing muscles to help support what's going on and be open in your vocal tract and your articulation. You know, you don't don't hold back. Don't try, no, this is not the song to hold back on, especially on this part. No. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I'm saying yes, I am. three parts doing that throw because of the blood you know because of the blood because of the blood you know everybody's doing this throw together you see how good it sounds on that same throw you see how good and juicy it sounds I'm sanctified and come back real quick and talk about Renee how she was narrating this you know she was doing Bible verses and scriptures and hymns during that ad lib part I was talking about each part I wanted to come back and say that so you know there is a fountain filled with blood drop from vein was veins that's a hymn you know what can wash away my sins what can I behold again that's a hymn okay so all these things that she's saying in this vamp are hymns again I tell people all the time using hymns lines from scripture those things can really help with ad libbing and give you some stuff to say don't don't reinvent the wheel, child, just oil it and keep it moving. Don't reinvent the wheel. Everything we sing about in church is from scripture anyway, right? So why reinvent the wheel? Go to the scripture that the scripture is based out of, find related scriptures or related songs in a hymn book, whatever the case may be, and quote those lyrics, quote that scripture, quote that saying, please. Do not make it hard on yourself to try to figure out what you want to say. Now, if you got it like that, that you want to make it a poem, kind of like Jesus can work it out with Diane Williams, if you want to do something like that, and you got the tools and the juice to do something like that, then shoot, be my guest. But don't stretch yourself out. Write down the scriptures, write down the hymns, and quote those. Because those are honestly going to be just as impactful as something that you make up. When you quote those hymns or scriptures, people remember those. They say, oh yeah, you know, they know where the song is going, they know where those words are going. So they relate to that a lot quicker than something if you were trying to make something up on your own. So yeah, don't discredit requoting the scripture or requoting hymns. Because again, don't reinvent the wheel if it's already invented. Just put some oil on it and spin that thing. Shoot. <laughs> Everything is punched and it's vibrato. Safe, washed, cleanse, blood wash. And you see how I'm always in that thicker belt right there when I'm singing the alto part? So everything is that thick, wide belt, that thick, wide chest voice, whatever you want to call it, that bark right there. Safe, washed. You see how my jaw, safe, not safe, though. No. Safe, washed, cleanse, blood wash. And you see how I'm punching that blood washed. Everything is kind of, not staccato, but very precise and concise in delivery on that part, that blood wash right there. And you see my body, cleanse, blood, you see how open you have to be? <laughs> it's not safe, what? no, 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 you're not gonna sing it right. If you give me, say, give me that breath on the down, save, breath, wash, down, breath, send, blood wash, so you give me that breath for you to, Saved, wash, cleanse. That'll help you get that part more punchy the way it's supposed to be sung versus save, what? No, that's not gonna give you nothing. But if you dig in, uh, dig in, uh, dig in, uh, dig in, uh, uh, okay? That's gonna help you give you that sound along with that free open mouth and that free sound. Belt it out, let it out. This song will be such a success for you. I promise you, I promise. I mean, they going. They might hear them all over the place, but that's okay. But they going. They going. That's how you got to sing this song. Ain't no safe. 
What? Uh uh. I need you to uh believe that thing. Uh. I mean, I want you to punch it in your whole body and be in there. The whole choir is digging. You can see when they do. Side, they there. Clap. Blood wash. See, I'm not about to do. Clap. Blood wash. That's what I want. That's how to sing the song. Because of the blood. And there's a reason why they're singing like that. Saved, washed, cleansed. I'm saved. Who? I'm washed. And they're declaring it because. Because of the blood, I am saved. Because of the blood, I am washed. Because of the blood, I am cleansed. Because of the blood, I am blood washed. Okay, that blood, child, that thing is powerful. It reaches to the highest mountain, to the lowest valley. The blood that gives me strength from day to day. Even 2023 years later, it will never, ever, 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 ever lose lose its power so you gotta sing it like that say wash cleanse blood you need it like that you need it like that okay Woo, I'm thankful I'm thankful for the blood I'm thankful for the blood I'm thankful for the blood hallelujah Woo, hallelujah mm, thank you thank you This conversation with my brother today. I was saying how there's not a lot of songs I do that boom clap clap ba boom clap clap. There's not a lot of songs today that do that anymore. That must be like an old school thing now, you know. But they doing it here. You know, it, it gives that beat. It's that waltz, you know, that three four drive right there. But there's not a lot of songs I have to do that anymore. Renee, she's saying you ought to clap your hands, you ought to wave your hands. If you've been saved, show me a sign. Uh -huh. This is how to invite people into what you're doing when you're ad-libbing. Are you saved? Show me something. Clap your hands, wave your hands, something. Show me that you're saved. And this is a great way to get the audience and the congregation a part of your worship experience, a part of your churchy experience, if you will. So, yeah. She was singing that part. I love that. And you said, stomp, yo, feet. If you've been saying, you want to stomp, yo. So she's really putting herself within the confines of the pattern in the vamp right here to really put her lead in a perfect spot each time. Yeah, 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 yeah.
how playing those parts were? He did, oh, 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 then the choir, ah, and those are glada on sets, oh, 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 but they were still saying, oh, but the oh was, ah, oh, more of an open like a ah, oh, if you will, ah, but they go to the diphthong of the O oh, right there towards the end. Warfare time! Oh! 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 So they really kind of broken it up and it's go down there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Folk don't do this war cry like we used to do back then. Mm -mm, they don't do like this no more. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 